Assalamualaikum viewers. I am Farak Nadeem with a new trick and a new tutorial. Today's tutorial is very interesting. We will create a photo using our router. The tool that will be used in the photo is the DCAR. So let's get started. Today I have already prepared a file. So if you receive a message about the file here, if I show the frame size, it is 24 by 36 with a thickness of 0.75. I have set its datum in the center and I have placed a rectangle here. The size of the rectangle as you can see here is 19 by 31. In this way, Along with this uh, rectangle, I have also created a cross section here to use on a path so that time can be saved. So I have already prepared and placed these things here. Today we have two tasks to do. First we have to make the frame and after the frame we have to place a photo in it. Just like we did in the last lecture, first you have to set the uh, rail and then the cross section and here you have to use the molding tool. You already know how to use the molding tool. At this point I have studied it and in this tutorial I have previewed it. So as you can see we have the preview available. If you want to change it here. As I mentioned last time, you can see that the top is coming out a little. So we give a little gap from the top for the material. After giving the material gap, we clear the last part. For clearance, you can use the end mill tool here. Set it to two sided and click OK. In the same way, we have also used a ball nose tool here, which we use for this carving or for making the, the molding. After calculating, I reset and previewed it. And now you can see that there is no material left here. So let's move on to the actual command we are going to use today. First of all, you need to do one thing here insert a picture. I have inserted a picture here. As soon as a picture appears here, try to use a high resolution picture. If you use low resolution pictures, you won't get the performance we want here. So I have placed this picture here. The frame needs so, to be set inside this border that appears on the inside. So I have set the frame here. After setting the frame, select the picture and select the frame. After selecting both, I cropped it. Now, since I use a very high resolution picture, the process is a bit slow, so we have to wait a little. As soon as the cropping is done, we move on. We have already made the molding, that is the outer frame. Now, after this, I am going to use a new tool. After selecting the picture, you have to do photo v-carving here. When we do photo v-carving, we have three options available. The first is raster, then hatch, and then selected vectors. So first of all, we need to see that the maximum depth is 0.2. The step over I am using here, that is the reject, is 0.12. And for this, I'm using a 60 degree tool, which is the best for this job. I used a two sided V car and I set the density here to 100%. The line angle I set to three, or you can set it to zero as well. After that, click calculate. As soon as you click calculate here, let me make the preview visible. So this is the tooling we get with the V car. Now here you can see some things in its reflection. So remember, whenever you select a picture, Try to make sure it doesn't have a background. Here if I use a photo with a clear background where the background is white, you will see that we get an even better result. I import the pictures from here. Look, I selected this picture and made it a bit bigger. As soon as I select the picture here, look, I selected its frame. And then after selecting the picture, I trim it here. I'm going to use the same V-carve tool again. Select the picture and after selecting the picture, recalculate it. As soon as you recalculate, Look at the first preview and then that other preview. The preview will focus only on the face. When I make the preview visible here, you can see that it has rendered the picture very nicely. Now, if you look at it up close, you will notice a clear difference. If I preview the toolpath, you can see that the entire frame is ready. So in this way, when you run the VCAF tool on it, it will work with great accuracy. Yes, when you generate it, it will be very good. The picture will turn out excellent. There are some other options as well, like line spacing. If I increase the line spacing a bit, there are even more options. For example, if I increase the line spacing, you can see. Now look at its position. I'll reset it. I'll take it to preview and top in its preview. So now, as you can see, the line spacing has increased a bit compared to before. In this way, we have the hatch option here. It gives excellent results. In this too, you should first keep the density low and calculate it to see. See, as I calculated and previewed it again, you'll see a double cross pattern will be created. If you look at it from the side, you'll get a very good result. And when you perform it, hopefully a very nice picture will be made. Basically, this is for artwork. And uh, as I always tell you and will keep telling you launch your own product. So if you get good at practicing like this, working on any picture, you can also make this as a gift and sell it in the market. Make it like this, have it polished nicely by a professional, make it on wood and give it after polishing. Many things can be made. There's also another option in this, selected vector. With selected vector, you can design any vector or object here as you wish and apply this whole set to it as well. So this is a small technique we have with the help of which we can create a masterpiece, make a photo frame 
or make a photo in it. You already have an idea about its outer cutting. You can do that yourself. And basically, this is a point for making your own products. It's a very excellent technique. I hope you learned something useful in today's lecture. I'll take my leave now. Remember me in your prayers. Allah Hafiz.